Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever. Just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. You could survive on the surface of Tartarus briefly. Someone with the talent for exploiting insecurities. We'll put those marksmanship scores to good use. Let's see, uh, what do we have here?
Good, you're used to having chemicals pumped into you. Come on, Phineas, pick one and leave. Next. Next. You're all so average.
You're also average. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, 
I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects.
Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics. With guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy.
What's that noise? here before you get yourself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gull on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But... Seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation... You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go.
This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Preparing to eject all boarded parties in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express... disappointment. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and Captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time.
What can I do for you, Captain? Goodbye. Say, hey, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder's disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family.
Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah? You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one... Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem's the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. <laughs> 